Good afternoon, you guys. It's your boy Blurry Day back with another work related video. Now, I'm sure some of you guys in the past, when I started YouTube, um, when I was finishing up freshman year, um, most of you are probably wondering, like, how come I haven't gotten a job in my high school years? Well, I'm not sure if there's a perfect explanation for that, but it's it's pretty reasonable. And don't worry, I'm not making any excuses. <clears throat> pretty sure, like, not that you guys care about that or whatever, but it's just <laughs> I thought I would tell you, like, another good story time, right? Um, so I guess around like late 2015, that this was when, after I turned 15, well, me. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe not like after I turned 15. Maybe like when I was 14 going on to 15, right? Like I was I was thinking about working and during during that summer, uh I worked for a guy from the church that we used to go to and uh sure it was tough and hard work, but hey, that that, that was something that was kind of into but it made me motivated to get a job, right? So after high school, like uh, freshman year, um, surprisingly, like, I wish uh, Cub could have like could still do this. I don't know why they changed it, but like apparently, uh, back in the day, um, they were hiring fifteen-year-olds at the time, and I was fifteen, right? And um, my mom and I, like. She tried helping me apply over there, and, and uh, it was under different management, by the way. I, I don't remember the guy's face. Um, <coughs> so I tried working on the application, really. I, like, I tried getting that job. Um, I don't remember what happened the first time. But honestly, guys, um, you know, as much as I tried getting... Uh, you know, applying for different jobs throughout my high school days. I'm actually happy that I didn't start out right away, especially with my really younger self, because what I've noticed in recent years is that, not that I haven't done anything major, it's just like there was just little mishaps, let's say, I've done at work, and I've gotten in trouble a few times, and if I would have messed up horribly at age, like ages 15 and 16, you know, I would have been fired right away, you know, because my mindset, it wasn't on like a, um, like on a disciplinary working mindset, right? Like, um, I wasn't like most teenagers, <laughs> like, well, <clears throat> sure, I'm sure they had that mindset, but I'm pretty sure, like, no doubt in my mind that they're like, oh, man, I want to get out of here, I want to have some fun with my friends or whatever, like, yeah, like, I don't blame you guys, so... I guess it was just kind of taking it easy. And I've applied for runnings four times, guys. And they still wouldn't accept me. Like, even after high school, I've tried applying there. This was the fourth time when I tried applying there for a second job. I, I don't know why they didn't hire me because, oh my gosh. Uh, runnings is under new management now. Um, the guy that I've met, um, and he comes through my lane sometimes, I'm pretty sure he doesn't recognize me, but um, he's nice, but I could tell there's something off with the guy. So, <clears throat> I have thought recently, okay, if I try for a fifth and final time, will they bring me in? But... We'll cross that bridge when we get to it, guys. Um, like I said, I am looking for a, another job currently. Um, <clears throat> um, unless if my work is going to give me better hours. Um, yeah. Remember the start of senior year, the running joke, literally it was the first day of school, like there was a bunch of ninth graders, some of them that I knew, um, they all assumed, or at least I'm, I'm hoping that they were joking, like they, they were assuming that 
I was working at Cubs since like 2016. Like, guys, here is the deal. If I was working at Cub Foods since 2016, I would have given you small updates on the channel over the years about Cub. Like, <clears throat> yeah, it's just it just didn't happen, guys. But again, if it was just if it was just a joke, haha, that was funny. Um. So, it was it was at to a point where almost every year that I kept applying for runnings. Like the first time, it was definitely like the the fall of 2016, and then after that, it was the fall of 2017. But before I applied for runnings the second time, I actually applied for Culvers. No, not not Culvers. I'm sorry, Perkins. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I don't know why that was the first thing on top of my head. Like Culvers is like kind of far. Um, Yeah, like they they had positions of um like of a dishwasher and I had no problem with that because I have no experience with um you know like waiting tables and all that like and I would have been embarrassed right away. I I've, I've heard that 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 position is very <clears throat> very difficult, very tough. But if you guys should know, um I have a deep amount of respect for waiting like people who weighing tables like taking orders like like they're all so confident like every single person waiter or waitress that I met meet like they're, they're just so they're just so chill they make it very cool like I can never be what you, what you guys do so like you have my most like utmost respect I can never disrespect you like <clears throat> the way that you guys do your job and that's awesome but if you guys remember in a live stream that me and Tegan did back in November, I admitted this. Like, I have no problem admitting this, but, like, and I'm happy in junior year that I got the class that I needed to, like, help me do interviews properly. Um, don't ever say this, especially when you're first time applying for any job, guys. Um, don't say that you're desperate, <clears throat> especially for money, because... I don't know why common sense wasn't hitting me in the head like, oh, dude, you shouldn't have said that, or like, you can't say that, like, <laughs> so maybe then I could have been working at Perkins for a while, for at least maybe a couple of years. And then the fall of 2017, that was when I applied for runnings the second time, right? I don't remember what was the third time. Was that actually... I don't remember. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, guys. Um, but, again, if I would have worked at Cub, again, the whole reason why I wanted to in the first place was because my buddy Nick, or Everfun, he was working there at that time. He was working at Grocery. Like, oh, man, how cool it would have been to work with Everfun. Like, two YouTube boys working at a grocery store together and every time I heard bass I knew it was him specifically because he always played bass in his car every time he approached or when he left work um, so with either one of these jobs I would have worked at during high school oh man I totally would have saved up and hopefully like to buy myself a phone and like I look at my past videos and the way I can afford some new stuff now I think of like um how come my high school stuff wasn't in better quality you know <laughs> like yes I always believe that teenagers should buy their own phones okay um like parents I don't know why you have to torture yourselves by buying your kids phones especially at a younger age like do you want them to be freeloaders like are you not disciplining them like the ways of hard work and earning like what what they want because like I said I've I've grown up with very strict parents like most of my church friends back in the day their parents they were able to buy them phones and pay their phone bills but my parents are very different and I'm gonna make sure 
when I have kids of my own in the future, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna do the same thing. Like, hey, you want a phone? You want a laptop? You want a tablet? Whatever, uh, get a job. Because I'm not paying your freaking phone bill. Excuse me, guys. Okay, I'm back. Um. Yeah. Um, of course, for parents who don't buy their kids' phones, they're not perfect, okay? Um, even the parents themselves, they're, they're proving or showing to their kids that they're not perfect parents because they have to buy their kids' phones. Like, mm -mm. Again, I don't know why it took me this long to buy myself a cell phone. Like, uh, even when I started at, at Cub back in uh, August of 2018, like, again... It's always good to start, like, any kind of job before high school. Um, like, th this applies just for the teenagers, of course. <laughs> um, so, even when I started out, when I was saving up a little bit of money, I'm wondering, how come I never bothered to buy myself a cell phone? Like, honestly, guys, I probably... I probably would have been, this isn't bragging rights, but I probably would have been one of the coolest kids in school to have a cell phone. Like, I'm pretty sure my friends would have been like, finally, the dude has got his own phone. Like, yeah. Um, of course my tablet got me where I needed to be. And like, oh man, I hated that crappy quality so much. Like, where was 1080p Blu-ray back in high school? <laughs> <clears throat> So, even though when I was going through a tough time in 2017, um, I was still trying to apply for jobs, but at the same time, like, you know, I've, I've gone through a loss that summer, like, I should be, like, <clears throat> you know, taking it easy for a bit. Um, of course, I know, like, with a job, guys, like, it can help you take your mind off of things, and it's very true. Work has helped me through the years get get my mind off of things, you know. And um, five years I've been with the company. Um, of course, I'm never, ever, ever going to dedicate my life to my work because I had this hypothetical dream years ago that I thought like, oh, where do I see myself in 10 years time? Like, oh, I'm going to be a, a manager at Cub. Like, uh, that's just a silly, stupid dream. It's never going to happen. Because remember, this is another one of those jobs that's temporary, okay? Like, until I, um, until I get myself where I need to be working at home, like, yes, I need to keep building my way up. But again, it's like you think, like, with me being on YouTube for seven years, I should be monetized by now, right? Yeah, like, what the heck? <sighs> of course, I'm open to any constructive cr criticism, guys. Like, I, I even was told that I would have to live stream every day. Guys, here's the problem. I think about these live streams thoroughly, and the live streams need to be something specific. Like, guys, you need to be there when I do a live stream, okay, because like, and we, we need to have a whole party, a full house of, of people watching me, like, oh my gosh. So until that happens, I am not going to be live streaming every day, because I got so much crap in my personal life that I have to deal with, and, and I'm, wor I'm working a lot too, guys. It's also the timing, like, what time do you guys prefer me to do live streams so you guys can watch the live streams, huh? I know that Tegan is your favorite on the channel, but he's not always here all the time, guys, so you're gonna have to stick with me, okay? Like, sure, I'm open to help anybody, like, small YouTubers to get them out there, but you guys need to, like, focus on the, the main YouTuber, right? 
Again, not to be egotistical, it's just like, again, there's nothing wrong with having guest stars on the channel, okay? It's just like, I'm thinking like other content creators, right? Like, you go to the, to the person's channel for that one person, right? Yeah. So I don't know what your guys' deal is, and I really hope you guys are sharing the content. Um... And feel free to comment down below, seriously. And there is a f there is a fake Nordic Warrior channel going on right now because I know the real Nordic Warrior. He would not talk me down. He's always he's always positive. He he just commented on one of my videos yesterday. Like um yeah, he would not be talking harsh to me. So to the fake Nordic Warrior channel. Not a gaming, whatever. Like, yeah, I'm on to you. There's no reason to talk to me like that. Like, that's very disrespectful, inappropriate. Don't ever do it. Cause it, it, if you can't stand me in the channel, then th then just go, freaking leave. I don't care anymore. Pat, bad enough. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, so, guys, if you're looking for a job, go for it right away, okay? You gotta work your damnness, work your butt off to get your first job. Remember, they're looking for seriousness, okay? <clears throat> but let me tell you, after when I had that class with, um, shoutouts to Mr. Nelson... I've had him almost every year in high school. Thanks to his class, um, what was it called? Like, uh, it wasn't work completion. No, it's like, like kind of like work training or whatever. Like, I got to practice with him on how to do an interview. If I would have had that class very early on in one of my grades, I would have nailed every single interview. But when I got to reapply for Cub again back in 2018, I nailed it. And I remember open house of high school like the week before we go in um i i wish i would have had him again for the last time but i i thanked him i thanked him for everything that he's done to help me get my first job like mr nelson if you're watching this just know that um i still look up to you man you're, you're my hero um if you ever want to reach out Please do. Like, seriously, I would like for us to hang out sometime. Um, of course, you know, with, with school coming up, like, I know you're going to be extremely busy. But, like, if, if there's if there's ever, like, a weekend, um, let me know. Like, oh, my gosh, bro. I have looked up to you since ninth grade, since I switched classes, right? Like, oh, my gosh. And that switch was good for the better. And, um... I don't know how I, I guess, managed to survive a first semester in your math class and in sophomore year because that math was tough. <laughs> that math was tough. But hey, you were there to help me. I think that was when 11th grade, um, you made things more easier. You made things more fun. You, you, you did treat the class like a work environment. Like you... Like, guys, if you've been to Mr. Nelson's class, like, the one I'm talking about specifically, you guys would know, like, what kind of stuff he pointed out, and, like, oh, my gosh, like, I remember this one kid, like, he was pretty funny, by the way. He was, like, well, I don't know if he was kind of, like, a good example, like, what what to, like, not talk about in the, the workspace. Like, um, he was, like, talking, like, sexual stuff. And then Mr. Nelson comes in the class, and then <laughs> he gets up, he's like, okay, if you would have said that in a real work environment, you would have been fired on the spot. I'm pretty sure that's what he said, but like, I, I it, was, it was just like good times, guys. Oh my gosh. Again, if you, if you take in any Mr. Nelson's classes, like, oh my gosh. Seriously, like, he, he's a good teacher to talk to, like, about anything, like advice, you know, all that stuff, like, well, 
Like, literally, out of all the teachers that are my favorites, when I went to high school, it was definitely Mr. Nelson, because, seriously, he was, he was the, the man to go to, you know, and uh, he, he looked a lot like Markiplier. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, he looked a lot like him. Kitty, kitty. <whistles> Come here. Kitty, kitty. Oh my gosh, guys. I don't know why he does that with the rocking chair. Come here, bud. Hey, you gotta stop doing that, bud. Oh, come here. So yeah, Cub got me where I needed to be. Um, definitely helped me get this little bugger boo for sure. For sure. Um, yeah. Oh, he's so funny. What's up, buddy? Yeah, and I, I really wish that um, there were openings for this place back in 2019, like after I graduated high school. Like if there were applications, I definitely would have applied when I was finishing up high school and then I would have been here right away. Because um, th that's every kid's dream of like graduating high school, right? Like they want to move out and not deal with any family drama or whatever. They just want to move on with their own lives. Like, yep. But hey, I, 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 I'm still grateful that I have this place. Been living here for, for two years now. And of course, I'm not planning on sticking in here forever. Like, uh, I gotta, I gotta make sure that I find another place in the future. Like, I don't, give me another couple of years time. Um, of course, I gotta have a car, you know, and all that stuff. Um, but we'll see. Um, I'm still open to have a roommate, you know, boy or girl, you know, like, um, just. Again, we'll see. Alright, uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Please send the post notification bell and share my content if you have any. And, um, I still get a lot of, uh, comments, guys, about, about, like, how to apply for a job or all that. Like, to those people who commented, like, hey, thank you. Thank you for reaching out to me. Because, um, I really hope that I'm leaving a, uh, a good impact on you guys um recently like the the, the content has been pretty good you know positivity it's just i wanted to like sit down just kind of kind of have like a serious moment with you guys like uh what to do when you're in high school and like if you think you should go for a first job right away go for it and hey if there are some places that are applying 15 year olds go for it before they change the rules <laughs> All right, again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for bye. May the Lord be with you guys. Always love you guys. Peace out, guys, and hope you guys are having a, a great day. All right, bye, guys.